asking for an investigation into the best high school in the nation after it withheld informing students of a prestigious award in the name of equity. Glenn Youngkin a school for gifted and talented students. Thomas Jefferson High School in Fairfax County, Virginia, is admitting that many National Merit Scholars were only told of their honor after important college application deadlines had already passed. However, my next guest, a parent of one of those students, claims that the Director of Student Services informed her that it was done on purpose because he and the principal didn't want to hurt the feelings of the students who were not given the award. God, oh, God. A Thomas Jefferson High School mom, Shauna, is now joining me. I am sure you are a proud mother, senior at the school's son doesn't want to hurt a student's feelings. The honor of being a national merit circular is such a prestigious one. Everyone cannot be that. We were very happy. Certificate and a pile of papers were in his room, and we asked him what this was. And Laura, the thing that makes me so sad is that these school-going children make amazing accomplishments, but the school doesn't celebrate them to the level that these children deserve. And because of this, these kids believe their accomplishments mean little while in reality, they mean a great deal. A huge honor is being able to graduate in the top 3% of your school in terms of SAT and PSIT scores, and we should be celebrating the children for that, not trying to hide that information from them. Laura, over the last couple of years, actually since the George Floyd tragedy, we've heard that, you know, the concern about making other people feel bad because they're not in high honors or they're not in honors or they didn't get an AP designation or they didn't do well on it certainly destroys it, correct? These kids, you know, are thinking that their accomplishments are meaningless. Laura, what happens to the kids who are climbing the ranks or maybe are improving, then? Why trouble even trying? Not at all trying. Why would you, I mean? You are led to believe that college admissions no longer consider SAT and ACT scores because these awards, the accolades, and you don't mean anything to anyone. What is the purpose of your studies? At this point, it's just a hodgepodge of luck. What are the TJ children saying right now about how this is going, Laura? They are all aware of what is happening. Aren't they? My son and friends have expressed their pride in the work I and other parents are doing in comments. Laura, let me tell everyone watching, Thomas Jefferson is one of the top schools in the entire United States. However, that made them feel bad or unfair to the children who were turned away. I don't believe it negatively affected any of them. No kids, in my opinion, feel bad. Speaking about the administrators, Laura says, the administrators feel bad or think the kid should feel bad and try to implement that. Laura, your son can't be attending a stop school. If you love the video please hit a like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel.